edge of the mat. Bring your left hand down into the middle and then bend your knees if you need. Take your right hand onto your shoulder and then start to twist open to the side. So you might just come to here. If you want to take a bit of a deeper stretch, you're going to extend that top arm up looking up to that top hand, twisting from the torso, pressing down through the legs and opening that chest. Take one more deep breath there. As you exhale, reach that arm up and over all the way back down to the mat. And then you're gonna replace the hand. So you're gonna place the other hand down into the middle of the mat now. Take your left hand to the left shoulder and then start to peel open towards the side again. Remember, you can bend the knees as much as you need here, guys. And then unwind that arm, take your gaze up to the top hand and open through the chest. Take one more deep breath as you reach that arm up and over all the way down. And then from here, we're gonna take a bend into the knees and transition down onto the floor. I'm just gonna readjust my camera. So staying down in that little squat position, we're gonna take a few little rocks here from side to side. So this is a great one to open up the back of the pelvis and also the hip flexors. Yeah, so just taking a little bit of movement there in this frog position. You might find it's really tight at the beginning of the day if you haven't done anything yet, if you've not done anything to warm up just yet. And then from here, my lovelies, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna roll ourselves down onto the mat. So taking your hands underneath the knees, Thinking about, again, like your roll up, we're reversing down through that spine, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the floor. As we arrive, we're gonna bring those knees in with us and give them a nice cuddle. Just taking a little bit, of, a little bit more rocking sort of movement, side to side. We're gonna take a lovely big stretch to switch the legs. So stretch the arms and legs up, reach, reach, reach. And then take the other leg on top, draw those knees down and breathe. Just opening the back of the pelvis. Nice guys. Let's take a quick uh, twist before we move into some abs. So just take your hands to a T position, bring your knees to touch and then using your core to control the movement, gently drop your knees over to the left side of the mat, twisting through the core. If you want to take it a bit deeper, you can stretch that top leg and extend it out. One more breath there. Then bending that knee, if you have extended it, squeeze through your abdominals, draw those knees up, and then gently take them over to the other side. Again, you want to keep this opposite shoulder pressing down here, twisting from the spine, gentle opening there. If you want to extend that top leg, Take it a bit further if you want to, you don't have to, obviously. <laughs> One more deep breath. Bend that knee, engage the abdominals and draw yourself up. Lovely, guys. So from here, we're gonna stay in our uh, bent knee position. Take your hands to the back of the head and we're gonna come up to a crunch. So we're squeezing the abdominals down as we lift the upper body, keeping our chin away from our chest. Nice. Now we're gonna do some toe taps up here. So if it gets too much, you can drop the body down and continue the movement down here. Otherwise, we're holding this position, we're opening through the front of the chest. Inhale, we tap the left foot down and exhale, we lift. Inhale, right foot taps down and exhale, lift. Inhale, both tap down and exhale, lift. Good, and right leg, and lift, and switch, and lift. Drawing the core down as we lower both and up. Good, so as we lower that leg, think of levering from your hip. You're not moving anything else to move that leg, just the hip joint is hinging so the legs can move freely. Good, let's do one more set like that. And draw it up, and inhale, and exhale. Inhale both, and exhale. Nice, now we're gonna just go into both now. As we lower the feet down, as we exhale, we're gonna bring those elbows in and we're gonna tap our knees to our elbows and then open out as we lower. So inhale, we lower. Exhale, we squeeze. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, everything squeezes in. Good, opening broad as you lower. Exhale, squeeze. Three more, inhale. And exhale, squeeze. And two and exhale one more and exhale now hold this position hold this position squeeze everything draw the belly button down 
and then exhale, release the feet, release the head, and just take a quick windscreen wiper left to right. Nicely done, guys. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get a bit more light down there. It's very dark. Just keeping your windscreen wiper motion there. Let me just readjust and see if that's a bit lighter. That's a bit better. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. <laughs> Good, so just left to right. Oh, it's just gone dark again. Oh, it's a little, we'll just stay there. It's a bit better than it was. Lovely guys. Okay, we're gonna progress that exercise a little bit further now. So coming back up to that crunch position. Yeah, remembering this is an option. If it gets too much, just bring your head down and continue on here. So we're in that crunch position. We bring the legs up to our tabletop. As we're going to extend the legs this time, instead of like just tapping it down, we're going to extend them long. So inhale, right leg reaches long. Exhale, draw it up. Inhale, left leg reaches long. Exhale, up. You got it. Inhale, both reach long and exhale up. Now the easier version is that you extend them up here. Yeah, so you don't go as low and that will keep your back nice and flat. The harder, more advanced version is that we extend it long out to the end of the mat. Inhale, exhale, inhale both, and exhale. Good. Inhale, and inhale. Strong breaths. Nice. Good. Let's do one more set. Here we go. As we lengthen, we draw the belly down, we flat through the spine, we keep the backs glued to the mat here, we're not moving those back muscles at all. Nice guys, now hold it here, listen carefully, this one's a bit complicated to set up. You're going to take your right leg out long, so it's a few inches off the floor. If it's too much to hold it there, bring it up to the diagonal. And then we're going to tap our other foot down to the floor. So we tap down and exhale, we lift. As we tap down, we draw the belly down. This is a really good core one. Inhale, we tap. Exhale, we lift. We have three more for three. Exhale, for two. Exhale, for one. Last little challenge. We come across with the opposite elbow for one. Exhale, center. And two, exhale, center. Three more for three. Good. And two, and one. Bring that bottom leg in and drop the feet down. Nicely done, guys. Take a windscreen wiper. Very, very good. Just take a moment there before you do the second side. Well done. So that one's, that one's quite a challenging one for your obliques as well when we get to the, obviously, the transverse section. Nice, guys. So let's set that up on the second side. So coming back up to that crunch, tabletop position. And we're going to extend our other leg out long. So if you did the same as me, it will be your left leg now. Yeah. So inhale, we tap the toe down and exhale, we lift. Inhale, we tap. Exhale, we lift. Inhale and exhale. For two and exhale. For one. Now we come across. Inhale and exhale. Deep breaths. Three more for three. Good, and two, last one, good, and hug the knees in this time, well done guys, take a deep breath, very good job, again you can just bring those feet down to the floor, just gently drop them side to side, well done guys, hopefully your abs are nice and awake now, nice and switched on. We're just going to do one roll up to sit up. So just one roll up as our transition today. So keep your feet just a comfortable distance apart. Stretch your arms back behind you. Take a deep breath in. And then on our strong exhale, we're going to find a very tall seat. So deep breath in, exhale, finding that tall seat. And then we're going to transition straight over onto our hands and knees. Good. So just coming to your four point posture now. So we want to make sure we always have good alignment in our four-point posture. So our hips are directly over our knees, shoulders directly over our wrists, so that we're nice and square. And you kind of imagine like you're making like a little table. So you want to think about your back being really flat here. 
for this first exercise. Like you've got a, like a cup of tea resting on your back and you want to keep it really still. So we're going to bring our knees to touch, arms are nice and wide, little bend in the elbows. And then keeping that bent knee position, we're going to open our right knee directly out to the side and then exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, we open side and exhale. We have three more, inhale, exhale, draw it down. Good. And two. And down. Um, we try to keep everything else very still. We don't want to move anything else. Now we're going to do some little circles. So we're going to open it and we're going to circle it around and then bring it back down. So the knee goes out and then we bring it parallel as the foot goes up and then we draw it back down. Three more. Inhale. Big circle through the hip. Just be careful if you've got tight hips here. Just moving with ease through those circles. Good. One more that direction. And then we reverse that direction. So we send our foot up, we circle out this time and we bring it down. Good, big circle in that hip socket. Nice steady breaths. Inhaling and exhaling as you lower. Last two. Good, last one. Excellent guys. And then take that leg directly back up behind you. So it's right up behind you. See if you can take your opposite arm to the um, in front of you there. This is an option. You can keep the hand down if you need to. So we're just holding that position. We're going to tap elbow to knee underneath the body. And then we're going to stretch it out long. So we come out to a stretched position, arm and leg stretching. Good. Inhale, we scoop underneath us. Exhale, we extend. Good. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, we lengthen long. So we contract through the core as we draw that position in and we extend and lengthen. Good. One more. Nice, everyone. Our last little challenge. Hold it here and then see if you can lift that arm a little bit higher than your head if you can. And then exhale, tap the floor. Inhale, send the arm up. Exhale, tap the floor. Three more. Inhale, reach. And exhale. For two. And exhale. For one. And exhale. Bring the hand down. Bring the foot down. Walk your knees to the edge of the mat and take a quick child's pose there. Well done, guys. Very good job. So just stretch out your child's pose. Take a few deep breaths there. Just let your bottom sink down towards your heels. And just finding space in the upper back. So in that position, keeping it kind of active, you want to think about really walking those hands forward, opening up the lower back, the upper back, getting a good stretch there before we move into our second side. All right, lovelies, when you're ready, come back up, find your four point posture, and we'll do this set to the second side. So again, just being mindful, you have that little bend in the elbow, so to lock the elbow joints, keep them slightly engaged and bent. Bring your knees to touch in the center and make sure your back is not pushing up or arching right in the middle of that lovely flat spine. Good. Inhale, we're going to open directly to the side and then exhale, direct down. So it's like you're just opening a door, hinging from the hip, similar to those toe taps. We want to keep everything else really still as we just mobilize and isolate that area. Good, two more. And down, and inhaling, and exhaling. Lovely, guys, we're gonna take those circles. So we come up, we turn in the hip socket as we send the foot up, and we draw it back down. Inhale, we open out, we draw that foot up, and exhale, down three more. Inhale. Moving in that hip socket. Good. And two. Lovely stuff, guys. We've got one more that direction. Check that you're still engaging your core muscles and your arms are still working here to support you. Then we reverse. We go up, out to the side, and bring it down. Good. Up, out to the side, and draw it down. For three. That's it, good. And two. Keep that breath consistent. And one. 
nicely done guys now you take that leg back up behind us and if you want to take the opposite arm remember this is an option you can do this exercise without the arm yeah inhale we draw elbow to knee and then exhale we reach and lengthen long good inhale squeeze exhale extend good inhale draw the belly button in as you bring that body underneath you knee underneath you exhale for two and exhale good and one and exhale we hold it here we're going to bring that arm down we're tapping the floor and we lift it just a tiny bit higher than the head alignment good neck is staying long though we want to keep our head facing the floor just engaging that upper back we have three more for three and exhale inhale two and exhale last one good exhale hold it there hold it there and then bring the foot down bring the hand down again take your child's pose good job just take a deep breath there nicely done guys one more breather excellent all right my lovelies let's come over onto our side next so we're going to do a little bit of side work so just coming down onto one side we're going to start in a sort of an elevated position today not lying all the way down so we want to keep here our shoulder directly over our elbow so make sure that you're not too far out or too far under directly underneath and thinking about really pressing this forearm part of your arm firmly down into the floor yeah we want to have that nice secure position feet are in like a bent position and we're going to lift our feet off the mat we're going to do some little elevated clams here so top hand if you want to make it a bit harder so just taking the top arm up just for a little bit more balance if you want the support just leave it down here on the floor yeah so we take the top leg we lift that knee up inhale and then exhale we bring it down we try to keep our feet connected here so we're really using our butt muscles to open the thigh so squeeze your bottom at the top and then you're using all that rotation that we've just found to help us execute this exercise good make sure you're still pulling up off that side body you want to sink down here keep pulling up good for two nice guys and one lovely now holding it here keep that arm up if you can if the arms down here that's fine though we're going to stretch the top knee so we stretch that top knee and then we bend it down now if you've got tight hamstrings you might only stretch to here and that's absolutely fine we're just working on knee articulation in this elevated position we're drawing in the core we're squeezing through the abdominals to help move through the leg good we've got two more keep squeezing your bottom to stretch that leg and one nicely done guys now hold this position bring your underneath leg down and you're going to send that top leg out long take that top arm up and over on a diagonal so it's right near your ear inhale we squeeze elbow to knee and then exhale we reach now that's option one if you would like to make it a bit harder you can elevate the body here and we can do it up here too so inhale exhale extend inhale exhale we reach three more inhale and exhale and two and exhale last one reach and hold lengthen everything long and then bring yourself all the way down very good work guys coming all the way down now so you can support your neck like this or you can lie all the way down on your complete side if you fancy we're going to just hit those inner thighs so taking your top leg and place it behind you extending your underneath leg long so stretching out that underneath leg pointing through the underneath foot a little bit this way <laughs> and we're just going to do some elevations of that leg so we lift and exhale lower we're trying to aim to lift about a foot like about a foot size up off the mat so not too big with that lift we don't need to go really really high we just want to engage this upper inner thigh abductor muscle inhaling and exhale good as we do this i want you to keep focusing on pulling up through your abdominals 
which sounds weird when you're on the side, but try not to relax down here. Keep bracing through those abs. Good, if it helps, you can also elevate the arm here. That kind of helps you remember to pull up through that side body. Good, two more. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, hold this one up here and just draw some tiny circles. So tiny, tiny circles with the foot and the leg. Imagine you're drawing them on that wall over there. So we're drawing them one direction and then we're gonna switch directions. Keep breathing. Just steady breaths here. Good guys, and hold it steady. Last little thing before you get a little break there. You're gonna push your weight slightly forward and then bring that top leg on top so it's parallel to the underneath leg. And we're just going to do some little scissors here. So we inhale for two, exhale for two. Good, inhale, exhale. Good, one more breath, inhale and exhale lovely work guys bring those legs together hold them up there find that strong position maybe reach that arm up breathe 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 and then exhale relax down well done just roll directly onto your back and take a quick little frog position if a uh, frog doesn't feel good for your body if you find it a bit tight for the hips you can just take your hands and make like a little shelf or if you prefer just do a couple of your windscreen wipers left to right. Otherwise, we're just gonna breathe here for a few more moments before we hit our second side. Very nice job, guys. One more deep breath. Well done. And then when you're ready, just with ease, just make your way over to your second side. We're gonna start in that little elevated side position. So we're remembering you don't want to sink down here. Keep pushing down through this part of your arm, through your forearm, nice and strong. Shoulder over the elbow. And we're going to start with those little elevated clams. So bring your feet slightly off the floor, arm up or arm down. And as we squeeze, we inhale. And then exhale, we gently descend down. And how we squeeze. Now, if you've got tight hips, this one might be quite difficult. So you may only come to here. And that is absolutely fine. You just want to go to your personal maximum point so that every time you do the exercise, you're progressing a little bit further for your body and your range of movement. Good, inhale, exhale. We've got three more for three. And down, inhale in two, and down, and one. And down, nice guys. I'm gonna hold this one up here and we're gonna straighten that knee. We're gonna find that extension of the back of the leg and exhale, bend. Keeping in mind you may only come to here and that is fine, good. Inhale, exhale, bend. Good, keep squeezing the back of that knee, stretching long through the foot. I'm gonna keep that foot nice and strong and stretched. Let's do three more for three. And uh, good for two. And down. And last one. Nice, guys. Very good. Now we're going to drop that underneath leg. We're sending that arm out long, that leg out long. And we're going to do that elbow to knee on our inhale. And then exhale, we extend. If you want to make it a bit harder, you're just elevating the body. And we do it up here. Inhaling. Exhale, we reach for four and exhale and three and exhale and two and exhale. Last one, reach and hold, lengthen the leg, lengthen the arm and exhale, coming down. Nice work, guys. Coming all the way back down now. So if you were lying all the way down on the first side, Make sure you do that on the second side, just so that both sides are even. We're gonna take that top leg, place it behind you, and we stretch that underneath leg long. Remember, arm be up here, down here, where you can work between the two. We inhale, we lift the leg about a foot distance off the floor, and exhale, we lower. Good, inhale, we squeeze and lift, and exhale down. 
good. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale down. So working this inner thigh, that top abductor muscle. It's a really small muscle group in the hip. We want to hit here and strengthen for us. Good. Inhale and exhale. Three more for three. Good. And two. And down. And one. Nice, guys. Hold it up here. Let's find those tiny little circles. So imagine you're, you, well, don't imagine, you're moving the whole leg from the top of the hip. And the toe is taking those circles with a pen on that wall over there. That's it. Good. And reverse your circles. Keep breathing. Good. And steady breaths there. Nice, guys. Hold it there. Then we're going to extend that top leg out long. Find that parallel position. We're going to find our scissors. So we switch forward and back with the legs. Keep them completely lateral here. And we inhale for two. And we exhale for two. Good. Inhale for two. Squeeze through those abdominals. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. And last breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hold them together. Reach a little higher. Squeeze the legs together. Pull up through the side body. And exhale down. Nice job, my friends. Roll onto your back. Take a very quick frog once more. Maybe just take the arms up this time so you can open up through the chest. And just take a very deep breath there. Very nice job, guys. Well done. Excellent. Maybe take another quick windscreen wiper. That feels good for your, your hips as well. Lovely stuff. Good. Let's take another roll up to find our seated position. So taking that lovely transition. Also keeping in mind with roll ups, if you really struggle, you can keep your knees bent and you can walk yourself up like that as an option. So take a deep breath in. Strong exhale to sit up tall, finding that tall spine and then opening the arms out. Nice guys. Okay, we're going to come back onto our front position. We're going to do a little bit of plank work. Nice and strengthening for the upper body and the core. Um, just being mindful of your back. So if you do get any back aggravation when you do your plank work, it's always a good option to bring the knees down to the floor. As soon as you feel your back engaged, we don't want to feel our back in plank. Only abdominals and our arms. Yeah. So let's come down to our forearms today so we're going to take our basket grip with our hands making sure our shoulders like always are over our elbows so we're nice and square in our alignment good tuck your toes slide your right leg back take a deep breath in and then on your exhale you're going to take your left to join and you're in your low forearm plank good now here is where you can take your option of dropping those knees and just keeping the core engaged down here Good. Otherwise, we're up tall on our feet here. Good. We're just going to hold for a few deep breaths. Press down through your forearms. Bring your feet to touch. And then drop your heels to the left side of the mat. So you're coming into a side plank on the left side. We wait, take one deep breath here. We reach the arm up and over. Exhale, bring it back up. And then we come back to our center position. Here is where we can drop the knees if we need a quick break between each side as well. Good. So taking a deep breath, we go to our second side. We drop the feet. We lift the arm. We stretch up and over and back and back to the center. Let's do that one more each side. We drop the feet. Deep breath. Up and over. Good. Back to center nice and smoothly. One more. Remember, you can drop the knees at any point, guys. Breathing up and over, back to the center. Exhale, we hold. Nice. Now, last little push in our forearm plank. We're going to drop alternate knees. So, if your knees are down already, you're going to stretch one up and lower, one up and lower. If you're still up here, we lower down. Inhale, and then exhale, we push. Inhale, down, and exhale, push. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's do four more. Inhale 
exhale, inhale, belly's pulling in, bracing through the abdominals, last one, hold it there, and then exhale, release yourself down, come down onto your tummies, well done guys, just take a breath down here, very good job, you can bring your hands down in front of you, and just take a very gentle little stretch through the abs there, just being mindful not to jar the back, when lengthening through the chest muscles, good stuff and then gently bring yourself down and we're going to move straight into a little bit of back work here so for your feet you can just have them you can have them together or have them apart kind of basically whatever feels kind of comfortable for you at the moment because we're not going to really use them here too much so just in a comfortable position so that you're not worried you're not engaging them all using them at all. So hands are going to take to the side of the eyes, so on the temples here. And I want you to think about, try not to look um, any direction but to your mat. So if you need to check the camera for instructions, that's fine. But then try to bring your head facing the floor again so you're not moving your jar and your neck from side to side, okay? So fingers inside of the temples, we take a deep breath in. Exhale, we prepare. Inhale, we're going to come up. As we come up, I want you to keep drawing the abs up and in towards your back and then lowering down. Good. So we're breathing and we extend through the chest and exhale, we lower. Inhale, we extend through the chest and exhale down. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale down. Good. Inhale. Exhale down. Now this next one we're going to hold up here. We reach the arms out to like an aeroplane position, turn your thumbs up towards the ceiling, and then I want you to take them slightly further back behind you if you can. Head is down, and then we're gonna reach the thumbs up, and then exhale, bring them down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring them down. You're gonna feel your back muscles really working here. Inhale, reach, and exhale down. Inhale, reach, exhale down. If it gets too much, just drop your body down, and keep that same movement for three good for two and down for one good coming back to the side now we're going to bring our arms forward so we're going to bring our arms forward in front of us and then exhale take them all the way back almost on top of your bottom inhale forward and exhale circle them back good inhale big circle forward and exhale back two more times remember taking breaks when you need guys this is a hard set if you need a quick rest take a quick rest good last one nice reach and hold back can you come a little higher deep breath and exhale release it down very good job bring your hands in using your arm muscles push your body up and then just send your bottom back Find a nice child's pose. Well done, guys. Very, very good work. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's roll ourselves up. Just take a few little stretches just to finish off today. Nice work, everyone. So let's start with a little seated twist here. So you're just stretching one leg out long in front of you. And then you're going to take your other leg and just place it across yeah, so if you do yoga, you're probably familiar with this one, but it's like a, you're just taking that leg, crossing it across like that. That's it. We sit nice and tall, same hand as the leg that's bent. You're going to press it down to the floor behind you, and then you can either hug that knee and twist, or if you have a little bit more range of movement, you can take the elbow on the outside and find a seated twist here. Now we want to find, similar to what we did at the start of class with our twist, movement in the spine, anchoring down through the bottom, and start to take your gaze to the back of the room. Take one more deep breath there, and then exhale, gently release, just unwind that spine. And then we're going to take that leg that is crossed, and we're just going to take a little hamstring stretch. So if you've got tight hamstrings, you may only come to here, yeah? You can reach for your foot with both hands. What I want you to try and do is make sure that you're sitting nice and tall. You have, can stretch the leg out, stretch the leg out, but absolutely no problem if it's bent. It's still fine. We're just working in our range of movement. 
Good, might be pulling it a bit further towards you if you can. Think of stretching from your bottom all the way to your heel. Good, one more deep breath. And then that leg that you've got up, you're gonna bend it in, bring it down to the floor. So you're in like a seated tree posture, again, if you do yoga or just a bent knee and a stretched knee. And then we're just going to walk our body forward over that front leg. So you may come to here, Take some deep breaths, relax your head down, you might be all the way down. Wherever you are, I just want you to relax the torso as much as you can and relax your head because your head will help release your spine. Take one more deep breath. Very gently, just roll up and we'll switch to the other side. So take the other leg out long now, taking that other leg across, find that strong tall seat there same hand as the bed leg presses down and then you can hug across or if you have a little bit more range take that elbow across and start to turn your torso to the back of the room good last breath and then gently release out taking that hamstring stretch so take your foot there Maybe just out to here, and maybe taking both hands on the foot. Tall spine wherever you are, make sure you're not hunching back. You wanna sit nice and tall. Good, lowering that leg down. Find that inside thigh position, and then very tall back, and then just walking yourself forward to where you feel a stretch. Remember to bring your head downwards to release the spine. Good, very gently roll yourself up and then just come into a final seated position. So you can sit cross-legged or you can sit in your mermaid position, whatever feels nice. And we'll just find our three breaths to finish the class. So deep breath in, reaching the arms up. Exhale, press the palms down. Good, find energy in the arms, deep breath in, inviting lots of positive energy into your day to set you up for a lovely week. And last one, deep breath in and exhale. Lovely work guys, well done. Fantastic job this morning. I hope.